the current state of four right now, I mean, I feel good. I feel different. I'm more positive, uh, a lot more stronger than I ever was. I'm just lost, and, you know, but this whole thing is something I've been going through m most of my life, honestly. I just feel like I'm better alone gone. Stop. I feel like I'm better off gone. Like, I think I'll, 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 I'll be more valued. I'll be more respected if I wasn't. Stop, Forrest. Stop saying that. That's not true. Get up. I'm gonna just keep it all the way honest. Um, it wasn't nothing I was trying to share, honestly. It was just kinda, I just kinda had a moment. That's not my first moment. Uh, I always have moments like that, but I'm normally by myself. It was the first time I actually was around, you know, people who actually, who actually love me. I'm just used to always being the person that helps everybody else. You know, crown my shoulder, you know what I mean? Like, I see some of these guys' problems that they deal with, and I was like, you know, I don't even wanna tell you what I'm going through. You know, but the, the good part about it is, is that they, they 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 took me in and, and they and they and they you know supported me through this whole process, you know, rather I liked it or not. I took that on a long time ago, boy. I ain't played with you about nothing. Right. Don't play with me about that, man. You hear me? Like you like too, baby. You be alright. <laughs> that night it aired, um, I was, I was, man, I just broke down, you know what I mean? And like my mom called me, I couldn't talk to her. Like Don took my phone and I just was around Don and Don and, uh, and Ryan. You know, I just literally broke down in their arms because it's like, no matter what you go through, like you still feel the wounds. Like you, like it, it, it takes time, you know, to heal. And you know, even now I'm still healing from it, but I'm just a lot stronger, you know, I'm more healed than, you know, than hurt. I'm so much stronger now. I'm so much stronger, wiser, sharper. Like I'm able to 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 take the the flaws, you know, in myself and 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 the the, the negativity and turn it into something positive. I'm able to know that it's okay to not be okay. Like you know, I'm able to to accept the things that come, you know. Then just appreciate the things that come in life too. You know what I mean? I appreciate all the love and people who reach out to me still to this day. I got people that check up with me every day now, strangers, you know, and I, I do the same for people that go through things that DM me or reach out and say, yo, I'm going through something, what do I do? Just through my, you know, experience and growth, I'm able to help somebody else and give them a, a little more encouragement about life and to appreciate, you know, the people that are there and your blessings. I really like how Forrest is speaking openly about his depression, especially as a young black male, a black king shy. That's dope. Shout out to Ryan, Van, and Charmaine for supporting for last night's episode brought me in tears. Outside of the business, NIMAG was really like family for everybody if you never, if you didn't have one at home. Like the shop, we used to literally sleep there, you know, party there, you know, fight there, make money there, whatever. We did everything there. It was like our own clubhouse and we grew so close to each other, you know, we was attached, you know, like Ryan don't have no brothers, like, you know, I'm Ryan brother, you know what I mean? And that's what it was. We all was connected like that. It was we cared that much about each other. So for them to be there for me at that moment, it just reminded me, you know what I mean, that I do have a support system, you know, no matter what we grow through. We went through a lot, you know, and people went separate ways. But the moment that something seriously happened, you know, at least with any one of us, I feel like we all, you know, realized what mattered and what didn't, you know, and they was all there to help. So, you know, it just felt like it felt like the first, the first time around again, you know, like years, like when we all got connected, it felt good. It makes me happy to see grown ass black men open, openly say they love each other. We need that, our community needs that. I love for that he shared this. It's a lot of love online, I appreciate it. You know, um, I need y'all, you know what I mean? Just like y'all need me, hey, we all need each other. My advice to anybody that's going through anything mentally, you know, bring it to the light, speak on it, because you never know, you know, who can help you out here. You know, everybody needs somebody. So you have to put put it out in the universe and it's gonna come back to you. You go, you go get the help you're gonna need and you know, people will reach out, you know, if you don't have if you don't feel like you have um, a support system or loved ones around, like it's you can get this you can get love from a stranger, you know, if you don't have it at home. You know, don't be afraid and um, it's only gonna make you stronger. You gotta go through it to get through it. What's up? We are the Brumfields from Black and Cruise Chicago. And for more Black Ink Crew Chicago, please subscribe to the VH1 YouTube channel, baby. Let's get it.